All right, so we're going to stick this right here on the play on uh, the enemy. The enemy, no wait. Yes, the enemy gets this script. All enemies should have the scripts. Players should have their scripts. Enemies should have their own scripts. So the enemy gets this one. Save this. And let's go in here and distinguish if target. So here's here's where the veritable target gets confused. And it says, well, and I'm starting it out, if target. So this is where I'm going to use dual both, and that's why I commented that out right here. I have to start it out by changing the target's target to attack. So now what is once physical now runs on a more verbal thing. Now, is that important to do? I like the the double indemnity that happens because of it. So it, it's an absolute this way. So now what happens is if I save that out, um, let's see if I can get it to actually repopulate here. There's a game object. There we go. Good. But the only bad thing is right now, we don't know what's going if it works or not. You know, right now it's just doing this. It's really tweaking out now, which leads me into a discussion that I said, not everything should be a rigid body. But here's what's happening behind the scenes. If we look at this, the trigger mechanism on this, collide is trigger equals true. Let me do something here and go to the enemy and trigger this. Also, we need an indication if this thing is working or not. So this is where I love doing this, print. Ouch, the zombie bit me. Okay, <laughs> you can make that as funny as you want or not funny. You can say print one. Um, I just, I have to keep it interesting to stay focused, I guess. So now, if it works, I should say, it should say, ouch, the zombie bit me down in the corner. All right, so let's see what happens when he hits me now. Ouch, the zombie bit me. But look what happened. This is caused from a trigger, okay? When an object is triggered, its collider becomes null and void. Therefore, it will not be able to collide with you. It just envelops inside you. So that might be good, not for a zombie maybe, but for a bullet. Okay, let's go in here and kind of look at how we can maybe I'll look at it a little differently. If I go into enemy and I say trigger is off, what happens? Well, now he hits me, but it doesn't pass the variable. Well, we could do a few things to counteract that. We could probably go in here and state just at the very end, um, after it prints out bit me, we can now Point to be false. Oh, and we have to start out true in, in order for that to work. There we go. So now it's true. He hit me and he gets knocked back, and now it's false. And wow, talk about a lot of physical, like physics happening there 
where when it does get knocked back, it gets not only knocked back, but all kinds of craziness occurs. Other ways you can handle that is you can become a kinematic, you can become a freeze rotation, so it doesn't do that. But now we're just we're just taking and watering down the system even more um, and more just because we want this guy to collide. This script, when you look at it, trigger via collide, is not meant for a zombie attack. I'm just going to have to put it up there. But it's great for a bullet. And pretty soon, you're going to have to distinguish which one you have to use. So that's why I want you to learn both of them. And right now, we have no hit system whatsoever. Right now, it's only printing out, ouch, the zombie bit me. But as soon as I pass a variable like that, that means I can pass other things. Like when, uh, instead of ouch variable, ouch variable, I can go like um, bite equals true. Okay, and if byte equals true, that would be one thing I can reduce of another variable down. When byte equals true, we have one less life. Those are things that are coming down the road. We have to look at triggers first before we look at the complex things like um, a hit system. I covered a hit system before using code from uh, the Unity game engine, but now I want you to learn that code. All right, so let's go on to the next uh, variable uh, or uh, trigger mechanism, and that's called raycast.